The presidential office has expressed regret over Kim Jong-un's harsh rhetoric. Seoul says it's always ready to confront any provocations. Concerns are rising that North Korea may stage provocations when South Korea and the U.S. hold joint large-scale military drills next month. The UN administration had previously refrained from immediately responding to North Korea's harsh rhetoric. This Thursday afternoon, the National Security Office expressed regret. Seoul stressed its combat readiness that can respond to any provocations from the North in a strong and efficient way. The South Korean military says Kim Jong-un's threats are nothing out of the ordinary, but also added that the North's nuclear and missile threats keep intensifying. The military says it's important to beef up ROK-US combined defense by enhancing the executive ability of Washington's extended deterrence and bolster the three-axis system to strengthen deterrence and response capabilities. The South Korean and U.S. military authorities plan to hold 11 total combined field exercises this year beginning in August. They include advanced combat training for brigades. Now, large-scale field training, which was suspended after 2018, will be restored and expanded to confront Pyongyang's provocations. The goal of the joint exercises is to amp up defense against North Korea's threat. However, it might also backfire by allowing Pyongyang to use it as reason to launch short and medium-range ballistic missiles. 지도자가 처음으로 대미 대남과 관련해서 아주 구체적인 기조와 정책적 방향을 제시한 거기 때문에 향후 당정군의 관련 부처들이 상당히 공세적인 대남 대미 이 발언 수위들이 이제 나올 것. Kim Jong-un's harsh rhetoric in his latest speech indicates that the situation on the Korean peninsula is unlikely to improve in the foreseeable future.